नमस्ते टू एवरीवन नमस्ते गोपाल भैया सरमिला दीदी सुनील भैया नमस्ते वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन सो भैया टुडे वी हैव टेरिंग इन इंग्लिश बाय लथा पी जी सो यू कैन स्टार्ट विद लथा पी जी लथा दीदी नमस्ते नमस्ते लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस यू क्विकली एंड देन यू कैन पुट योर शेयरिंग इन 20 मिनट्स बेस्ड ऑन द पॉइंटर्स ऑन द स्क्रीन ओके सो Dr. Latha P. G. is an associate professor and currently head of the Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering at Cochin University of Science and Technology, Cochin. She is also working as a co-coordinator of EHB Cell at Cost, and uh, she uh, has been connected to EHB since October 2020 uh, after the five days online EHB introductory workshop. and regarding volunteering uh, she has been uh, coordinating many activities in her college uh, being a part of the uhb cell and she is primarily focusing on spreading the uhb content among the university community and uh, playing a vital role in conducting <coughs> various volunteering meeting uh, in kerala uh, particularly last year uh, she took uh, Many initiative to organize one day orientation program for faculty at cost, and uh, where Kumar Bayya was also the part of that program. And she is also organizing many self-funded AICT FDB on USB introductory uh, workshop at cost. So she is very instrumental in bringing USB two in coaching university curriculum twenty twenty one. So, with this brief introduction, I may invite Latha P. G. to put her say. Dear Dear, welcome. Over to you. Namaste, Namaste, Tara Pasana Ji. Namaste, Sharmila Didi, Kumar Bhaiya, Gobal Babu Bhaiya, Sunil Bhaiya, Tara Bhaiya, and other co-explorers. Uh, first of all, thank you, Tara Bhaiya, for introducing me. As Bhaiya already told. I'm Alata P. G. Faculty from Triple A Department, and I'm the co-coordinator of the UHV Cell of Kusat. And this is the first time I am attending the uh, morning session of UHV Three. And uh, I have been a silent explorer in these morning sessions. So today I'll be, I'll start my sh sharing um, by first talking about my family. my husband murali was working with airports authority of india and throughout his service uh, he is th throughout the service most of the time he was with uh, airports at many parts of the country he retired from service 2 years back and uh, we have only one son who got married 2 years ago and he and his wife both are working in bangalore now i am staying close to the campus along with my husband and uh, now almost settled in life in the initial stages of my adult life for almost 20 years uh, for uh, from 1995 to, to 2015 my focus was mainly to ensure reasonably good standard of living as per the prevailing uh, societal norms i used to experience a lot of uh, tension stress and anxiety during this period and on these days i have tried different programs like art of living uh, brahma kumari's meditation and also some religious and spiritual uh, satsangs for my emotional strength and well being but i couldn't accept all those uh, all these as such but when i was introduced to this uhv content in 2020 october i felt that that was uhv one i felt that uh, this is the one i have been looking for a content which is universal in uh, universal logical and all encompassing in nature also free from all types of boundaries which is the real freedom later uh, immediately after that i i have attended the uhv uh, refresher part 1 uh, i think in 2020 uh, november december itself then uh, later Uh, i attended uhv2 face to face program uh, and uh, we, in september 2022 which helped uh, to uh, uh, have a better cl uh, content clarity 
and uh, so now the for the next two minutes i'll i want to mention uh, just the key points which contributed to bring a shift in my outlook first and foremost thing is the concept of value this is really an eye, eye opener the real meaning of i value then only i started to assess my role as an individual and also the other three levels of my being also i have i got the clarity about the purpose program and potential uh, that is also this this concept is also very enlightening uh, to me and then the proposal that intention is the same for all and human beings differ only at the level of competence which i found as very powerful then the proposal of ensuring right feeling within the self to fulfill relationships i can uh, see that this concept can bring uh, a lot of changes in families and society all these are the major uh, takeaways of uhv uh, courses attended till that time and all all these learnings are found very meaningful and i used to discuss uh, with, uh, with these contents within my close uh, friend circle uh, now uh, now i can see that it was with lot of uh, excitement and this and this uh, and this has brought lot of uh, hope in me with lot of enthusiasm i used to handle the uhv2 courses which have which we have introduced in the curriculum in 2021 meanwhile i could uh, make out that Uh, many of these contents uh, remain as uh, uh, information only and it is not stated in my imagination because i often could see that i am mostly operating in the b2 level discussion of the content is happening regularly but that is not contributing significantly towards right understanding and ensuring right feeling within the self in continuity however i could see that the intensity and the frequency of getting into disharmony has reduced considerably also i could see that my behavior i could see my behavioral changes like more awareness less reaction less tension and less stress etc still issues happens up uh, happen once in a while especially with uh, one or two uh, whom i am not that comfortable i what i used to do is i used to protect my my inner self uh, by staying away from people who whose assumptions uh, do not match with mine that was the strategy uh, earlier now well, this is just like prote uh, protecting babies uh, till they develop uh, immunity uh, the, i felt like that then things started to change after i attended uhv 3 face to face workshop in srm chennai in uh, during last may it i was very much motivated to see the efforts of the srm team under the leadership of supraja didi for implementing the value education and practice in that big campus also meeting gurus like ganesh ji rajul ji sarmila didi and kumar bhaiya um, was also a great experience also it was very enriching to meet and listen to the co-explorers who have made significant progress in this journey over 2 to 3 the last 2 to 3 years from there i realized that morning session is very helpful for the self exploration process then i started attending the morning sessions from may 1 onwards till this date now about the understanding emerging out of exercise 1 when i observe my imagination i can very well uh, see my desire or my feelings i can see that i have a desire to get favorable feelings from others the thought and expectations many a times are associated with that only i can see that it is not naturally acceptable to me and uh, i am in harmony at that moment so that is regarding point number 2 and 3 of exercise 1 and about 4 and 5 i can see that it is my decision to have the feeling and it is due to 
uh, assumption or my sanskar that I am going with this type of imagination. If there is right understanding in me, I won't get into this feeling. And uh, so sixth point and uh, sixth and seventh point, uh, what I can say is I could see observing my imagination upon uh, ob observation. I could uh, see my imagination that having the feeling of relationship, I can be in a harmonious state. Let me mention about uh, one recent incident which happened re recently. There are uh, one or two more incidents also. Now I just mentioned only one incident which happened recently. I was very much annoyed and uh, got frustrated when I ha heard that uh, someone with whom I am not that comfortable uh, usually uh, had gone something, had done something which will be affecting me badly. But immediately I could observe that what is happening in me. At first, I wanted to uh, call that person, but uh, someone, uh, some, uh, but sooner I could realize that I have moved to the opposition state, which is not natural, naturally acceptable to me. Also, the proposal about the intention and uh, 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 competency came into my mind at that time. Upon contemplation, now uh, I have I took a decision and uh, not to respond now. I, in, momentarily, I thought of calling that person, but uh, I thought uh, I am not. Uh, dis I decided I am not calling now because I am in the uh, opposition mode. Now, upon com contemplation for a few hours, uh, I could talk to that person very calmly with a feeling of uh, relationship. And uh, the other who is uh, found to have always, usually, uh, uh, some opposition uh, towards me uh, has very calmly responded and explained what has happened. Because of the way, I can see that, I could see that because of the way I talk, the person could understand the mistake immediately and uh, the corrective steps are also taken uh, immediately at that time itself. So this is very surprising to me. It is for the first time this has happened like this. In similar incidents happened in the past, I used to react. And uh, then uh, things will become very, uh, now I and often I will go to disharmony and uh, this will last for uh, several days to settle down. This time the feeling which I experienced was very much rewarding them that uh, the uh, um, the feeling with uh, that that is very uh, very uh, i am i have become so much lighter like that i felt so it is very uh, it was very rewarding for the development of right understanding uh, and the and the need of ensuring right feelings within my, myself this incident helped me to understand that relationship, harmony, um, and with these feelings, uh, if we take if we take decision, it will lead to a state of harmony. Now, regarding exercise two, on observing self, body, and their interaction in space, I can see both self and body are two distinct realities. And also, I can see that the transactions be within the two that is uh, taking place continuously. And when I'm reading the sensation from any part of the body, I can clearly differentiate uh, the self and body and the difference between uh, the two. And also, regarding step number four, I can uh, tell that also I can see that uh, it is me who attaches meaning to the sensation, whether to neglect it or uh, it is a disturbance uh, or and uh, whether to respond or react, it is my choice. When sitting in an extremely hot climatic condition, depending upon the situation at, uh, at that time, that means the importance, how much uh, important the situation is, if I am focusing on some important things, my experience will differ. I can see that. Except the coexistence in space, most of the uh, steps 
in exercise 1 and 2, I can clearly see. Also, I can see that happiness is my innate nature. And whenever I am affected from outside, I am going out of my naturally acceptable state. I can see that the program for ensuring happiness is to observe on my inner state every moment. And I have to make this as a continuous, as my continuous program. I have identified that I'm still holding the sanskar of preconditioning and uh, sensation. And through the program of continuous observation, I can gradually come, on, come out of it and move towards the right understanding. And uh, regarding, uh, it was my it was last uh, of my sharing, regarding my commitment. The main focus is currently the self-development uh, part. Uh, the, now for that, uh, my decision or my commitment is I will continue attending the morning session. Uh, that is my uh, current plan. Definitely it is uh, making significant changes. Uh, now, uh, then another uh, commitment is currently I am practicing yoga and meditation but only uh, three, four days in a week. Now I have decided to include both in my daily activities because I am uh, finding that also uh, very, uh, that will, that can co accelerate, co that can accelerate my development and growth. Then regarding my commitment for social responsibility, the immediate thing is that I will work for the student community in our university. I can see that many of the students are suffering due to problems in their families and also due to many other issues. Now, now uh, students also, uh, now nowadays they are um, approaching me uh, and, um, for uh, their um, problems. Previously, it was not like that. I, I, I was here from uh, for the last 24 years, but uh, compared to those days, now more more and more, more students are uh, coming i am also um, I, I can also see that the relationship the uh, the relationship with uh, my students not only with the students every 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 other community now uh, i'm i will be able i can sure that i will be able to help them by spending some time to listen to the um, to them and also helping them to explore with it I know that my volunteering activities are very much uh, are presently limited to our university um, and the nearby community. Uh, uh, pardon me. Uh, this is mainly due to the fact that we are we are mainly uh, have three permanent faculty in our department, of which one will retire in this year itself. Then the rest is only uh, two, me and one more faculty. So with a lot of academic and administrative responsibilities, I, I won't be in a position to do beyond this, at least for, for a certain period of time. I hope that situation will improve in future. There are there are faculty number enough faculty members um, that, but they are not permanent. They are contract on working on contract basis. So some of the many of the responsibilities we can't uh, do we can't impart give to them. So so that is uh, the present situation. So with this, with uh, so much of gratitude to all gurus in UHV, let me stop my sharing. Thank you, one and all. Now we may take the comments from Gopal Mayes. Yes, yeah, Gopal. Yeah. Namaste, Lakshmi. Namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste. It was nice to hear you. And people around around you are able to see qualitative shift in you. That is very good. It means we are trying to verify these proposals. And knowingly or unknowingly, we are evaluating our sanskars also. So something is happening at the level of thoughts and star. That's why it is reflecting outside and people are noticing it. So in that sense, it is good. But we have to 
continue this process of expedition in our cell, 24 cross cells, because there are many deep sense cars which are dormant and lying in our consciousness. So with this process of exploration, we have to evaluate all those sanskars. And whenever we evaluate our sanskars, some qualitative shifts are happened. Then we also work as an environment for other people. So many people will inspired from the changes that happens in us. So this is good really that your teacher, your colleague are appreciating you. So best research with you. Keep exploring it, keep verifying it, these proposals. And ultimately it will make you relax. And consequently, you will be a environment for other people, inspiration for other people. Best research with you. Thank you. And thank you, Kupal Bhaiya. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Gopal Mayor. Now we can yes, you comment from Selena Dili. Dili, Namaste. Ji, Namaste to everyone. Namaste, Lata Ji. Namaste, Didi. Yes. Uh, clearly, you said that you have been a silent explorer, and it was very nice to hear your sharing today. I think uh, you are you have already been seeking answers to your questions for quite some time. And so have been developing the right kind of sanskars also in that process. But you also clearly mentioned how the exercises are helping you, how you were able to, the incident that you related about the first time that you were able to have the right feeling consciously and the difference that you could notice within I think this is one of the major steps, one of the major, the key things that, you know, is indicating that our exploration has truly begun in earnest. Of course, there is a long way to go. In the beginning, when we are starting out, it may appear that all these steps are clear and we are doing them. But a lot of times there may be confusion a little bit between what is naturally acceptable and what we are actually able to see. But because this is the process, this is the way to go through the process, it is uh, very rewarding at every level, I would say. And you have already noticed how fulfilling it is for you. So I think with this motivation, I'm sure that you will be attending further sessions, like you said, and keep going at it. Lots to explore. It may take time, but I think with all the work that you are doing outside and inside within you, I'm sure that you will have further many, many rewarding and fulfilling times with this. And all the very best to you. Best wishes. Thank, thank you, Didi. Uh, definitely, I'll be there in this journey and okay. continue. Initially, I I felt that uh, it is everything is simple. The rate of change of my uh, understanding level. The you know initially it was very high, but now now I can see that it is a long, very long, long journey. So anyway, every every day I can see some progress is happening, some delta see uh, change that is happening. I am very hopeful also. Thank you, yeah. thank you, Didi. That's the right attitude to have, and uh, like I said, you know, every moment that you are able to do this, you know, uh, looking within this process, you will find it more and more rewarding. So all the very best to you. Thank you, Didi.